Essentially, nobody expected we would see the surge in passengers coming back to airports and airlines uh, immediately after the pandemic. And airlines had furloughed employees. They'd let people off, laid people off. And now they are just really trying to, to catch up. And they're behind the eight ball. American Airlines in particular, it had to cancel more than 400 flights over the weekend. And American says it is projecting it will have to cancel 50 flights per day through mid-July. And that is more than 1,000 in total. We're talking about 1% of Americans' flights. Uh, it says the cancellations are coming from staffing shortages and maintenance issues. This weekend's bad weather certainly didn't help at all. The airline, uh, among those factors, it says, uh, is, it says led us to build an additional resilience and certainty to our operation by adjusting a fraction of our schedule flying. That means essentially canceling flights. It says we made targeted changes with the goal of impacting the fewest number of customers. It is now rushing to get pilots and other crew members furloughed during the pandemic back on staff and getting them ready to fly as fast as possible. But the bottom line here is that this is likely to continue at least for the foreseeable few weeks in the height of the summer travel season. Savannah? Yeah, we we're talking about continued cancellations through mid-July, according to American Airlines. Is this just an American Airlines problem or are other airlines uh, potentially facing these same issues? American seems to be hit the, the hardest. Uh, United Airlines, not as hard. The bottom line is if you have booked a flight this summer, there is a chance that you may get rebooked. They may put you on an earlier flight, a later flight. They may put you through a different hub when you're flying. Uh, they say they're going to do everything they can to cancel the fewest number of flights altogether. If your flight is completely canceled, you'll get a full refund. All right, Tom, thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.